Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and this is another episode of our series Getting Started with Microsoft Fabric. In this video, we are going to talk about Data Lake House. What is it? How to start working with it? And how it can be beneficial for you? If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create videos on Microsoft Huawei and Microsoft Azure. And now we have also started creating videos on Microsoft Fabric. This is episode number two for Microsoft Fabric where we are going to discuss about Data Lake House. Data Lake House is the combination of Data Warehouse and the Data Lake. It would give you all the benefits of a data lake where you can store huge amount of data in any format. Additionally, it also incorporates the ACID properties of a Data Warehouse. So whether you have structured, unstructured, or maybe semi-structured data, you can take the advantage of a data lake house where you can perform all of your data analytics operations, whether you are a data engineer, data scientist, or maybe a data analyst. Now, if you would like to know more, you have to stay tuned with me till the end of this video, and I'm gonna let you know everything about it. However, if you also want to start your career in data field, whether you want to be a data analyst or a BI developer or a data engineer, then don't forget to check the link in the description section and start learning now. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, you have to log in on your powerbi.com that you can use using app.powerbi.com. Alternatively, you can go to app.fabric.microsoft.com over there you can choose the microsoft power bi once you are over here you would get on your left hand side bottom corner different personas that means the different experiences that you can switch on so over here we are going to use the data engineering one but before going over there please do remember that you should have a fabric license or premium capacity license secondly you should activate your trial version if you don't know how to use it how to activate your trial version then please watch my previous video where i have already shown that how you can start using trial version of fabric now you have to come at the left hand side bottom corner here we are going to switch to data engineering once you come over here you will find the different options where you would first see the lake house lake house as i just mentioned lake house can accommodate your structure non structure data even the semi structure data so basically what we used to have is the data warehouse only where we used to do our reporting and other stuff and the data science team used to work on the data lake side but it used to happen that sometimes the data visualization or the bi team needs to use certain items from the data lake Alternatively, data science team also needs to use the data warehouse. So with the lake house, both of the different environments are coming at the same place with the highest efficiency. That's why we use the lake house over there. Then you get the notebook where you can use your PySpark, Spark, Python, SQL languages to do your data analysis. We also have over here Spark jobs, which is going to use to define, schedule and manage your Apache Spark jobs for big, data, for big data processing. Then we have data pipeline and also we have an option where you can import your notebooks. For this video, we are only going to discuss about the data lake house. So let me just click on this. Here you have to give it a name. So let me give it a name. It would get instantly ready. Now you can see that. Here you would find different options from where you can get the data in your lake house. You can use the new data flow gen 2 where you would get a Power Query experience. If you are coming from Power BI background, then you already know what is Power Query and how you can use it. If you are trying to move the data, copy the data, transform the data, then you can use these new data pipelines, which is based on Azure Data Factory. Then we have Open Notebook as well, where you can write any kind of code using Python, Spark, SQL, etc. to do your data analysis. And now we have also new shortcut. So suppose you are using AWS or Azure or any other external storage system and you don't want to bring all the data inside your Power BI. So you can just create a link. Link would be just an interface so that you can get the data directly from there. And that's how Microsoft Fabric is going to use the data format to create the different tables over there from on the top of data lake. Now there are a couple of other options as well over here. First on the top you would see this lake house which is the name then its location who's the owner and if you would like to see more you're gonna get some options over here like you can change the name you can write the description there's endorsement part as well and then you have your SQL point which you can use to connect with the different other applications if you need to. 
whenever you create any data lake house always there are two parts is going to create one is your lake house and this sql endpoint sql endpoint is your sql instance suppose you want to write the sql queries etc in that case you are going to use the sql endpoint now if you want to refresh the data there is a button if you want to change some of the settings which is over here then you can change it if you want to get the data then the one that you are looking over here you are going to find the similar options over here you can do that also you can create new power bi data set and if you want to use the notebook then also you would get two options over here whether you can use the existing one or new notebook now i'm going to upload my sales data file over here for that i'll come over here click on these three dots then you would find the different options and one of them is new subfolder you can directly upload as well if you would like to but i'm going to create a new subfolder with the name data and now what i can do i'll click again here and i'm going to upload and click on this upload file button this window is going to open here if you already have some file and you want to override them you can select on this option otherwise simply click over here and here is my sales file so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to upload it click again on this upload button and it would take some time and it's gonna load in no time now it has been loaded so let's check whether it's there or not and here you can see your file has been loaded your date modified is here what is the type etc if you want to go inside the file you can go just click on this and it's going to show you the preview what kind of data you have over here now let's suppose you want to use this file that you have loaded as a table you don't want to use as a file like in your data lake but you want to use it like it's in your data warehouse so what you can do you would come over here click on these three dots and click on this option load to tables if you would like to rename you can do that delete and if you want to check certain properties you can do that as well so here you would get everything now let's go over here on these three dots click on load to tables you can also give it a different name if you would like to but i would like to keep the same so let's load it you can check the progress over here if you would like to it's going to load quickly over here now you can see this message table successfully loaded sales.csv loaded to data table delta is just a format so on the top of azure databricks or the data lake we use the delta format and that's known as delta table which are going to give you the acid properties or same experience as you have in your database now once i'm going to click over here probably it's going to show you some error or some messages i'm not sure otherwise it should load the data and here it's loading the data but let's suppose when you are clicking on this and it's not loading the data you can simply click on this refresh button and it's going to load the data over here now here you will find the all the column names and also if you would like to open in the new book you can simply click on this and it's going to load the data over there here your notebook is there you can simply drag and drop over here for example i just want to drag and drop and now you can start and now you can simply start using it isn't it simple that you don't need to write any code or anything but you can simply directly start doing your data analysis even if you know basics of the python or PySpark or sql you can definitely start using it so that's the power of this lake house inside microsoft fabric for that let me go back over here to my data engineering tab so what i can do i can simply click on my sql lake house over here on the top right hand side corner you would get this sql endpoint here you will find this option new sql query here i'm going to write a very simple sql statement which is this one what i'm doing over here i'm getting item then i'm going to get the product of quantity into unit price which is going to give me the total sales amount and that's what i'm going to get it over here once you are going to run it it's simply going to show you over here you can do much more than that we can now move to the creating a visual query and what is a visual query over here you would get this option new visual query click on this once you are over here you can simply drag and drop even you don't know sql but still you can do that if you remember i have created also one video on data mart where i have showed you this feature that how you can create a visual query so you have to simply drag and drop your table over here this is gonna come so don't mind over there just close it and you can see your visual queries over here now what you can do into this one you can perform any number of operations you want for example you can choose the column you can group by short merge whatever you want so i'm gonna do first choose my columns here i'm gonna choose only first two columns click ok and here i have two columns now i can group it by so let me click on this and click on group by in the group by i would like to consider this sales order number then i have this new column name line items and i'm going to perform an operation which is going to name count distinct values for this sales order line number and here is going to be my result it's super fast if you would like to sort it you can do that there are different options 
according to your choice you can choose it down and you can see that it's appearing over here as well so this is what you can do over here till now you have seen the different options how we can use the sql query and also how we can use the visual query over here next option is to come to this modeling tab so you can see at the bottom of your screen you would find the data query and the modeling tab here is my table and i would like to now create a table but before creating table if you would like to create a measure as well you can do that for example i just clicked over here i want my total quantity and i can simply say sum of quantity this is my total quantity and my measure has been created inside the table now i would like to create a report for creating a report you would find this option new report and it's going to open a new page now click on this new create button once you have clicked on this you would find your sales table is over here and there is my total quantity i would like to check my total quantity by customer name so i'll put my customer name over here and this is going to be my report i have just created one visualization over here if you would like to create more you can create it according to your own requirements and need once you've done that then you have to simply save it or save as that's all you need to do in this video we have experienced the lake house in microsoft fabric how it can help you how you can bring millions of rows of data instantly you can also transform it you can use the sql query editor you can use the lake house features over there if you just want to try the different PySpark or notebook experience you can do that so basically this is your lake house that we have created where you have your all the data over here you can use the queries etc you can either use the sql endpoint or you can use simply the lake house where you will get the different notebook options if you want to analyze the data which is pretty simple i have already shown you you have to just drag and drop and use certain basic operations and you can completely analyze your data over here i hope you learned something new today now you know what is the data lake house and how it can be beneficial for you if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know and also if you have any training needs for microsoft power bi and microsoft fabric please contact us Till then, see you in the next video.